Five, the Ohio Attorney General warning police about testing drugs out in the field. Popular drugs are getting more potent and could pose a real danger to officers and canines. Kristen Volk just spoke exclusively to the State Highway Patrol in Elyria. And Kristen, they say they've changed how they handle drugs. That's right. That's right, Mike. Troopers here are no longer field testing for drugs. That means that they are no longer using these test kits that would immediately tell them what drug they have in hand. Instead, they have a new process, and here is what that entails. Based on state bulletins like these, warning police about the deadly effects of handling some drugs, State Highway Patrol Sergeant Tim Hoffman tells us all drugs that he and his troopers encounter get sent straight to their state drug lab. It's a step that used to be second in the drug testing process, and now it's first. When troopers encounter any drugs in the field, Hoffman says they wear gloves and now double bag the substance before it gets shipped. The biggest concerns are fentanyl and carfentanyl, two drugs that are being mixed with heroin. As these bulletins state, fentanyl is 40 to 50 times stronger than heroin, and carfentanyl is a drug even more potent than fentanyl. It is used by veterinarians on large wild animals. And if anyone is exposed to these drugs, their breathing and cognitive skills may be affected. It's so strong that if you just get some on your skin, you can start to feel the effects of the drug. Uh, if it were to break open and you get some of the residue in the air and you breathe that residue in, you can actually overdose on the drug depending on how much you breathe in. We also checked with Lorraine police about this issue, and they tell us they are much more cautious about field testing, too, and they can only do it, they only want to do it if they have to make an arrest right away. Now, just like any other law enforcement agency, an arrest can only be made once some sort of testing, whether it's in the field or in a lab, determines that that substance is illegal. Live in North Ridgeville, I'm Kristen Volk, News Channel 5.